Hey, what's up, guys? Dan here. In this video, I'll show you how to conduct a reverse shell so you can control any PC. As always, I will do the demonstration first. At the end of this video, I'll teach you how the tools work so you never forget. This video is intended for educational purposes only. The techniques and tools shown are to be used in an ethical manner. Misuse of this information can result in legal consequences. Ensure you have permission before applying these methods. Get ready. I need you to focus so you can learn. Concentration is key. For this tutorial, you need a Windows PC and your Kali Linux. You also need to make sure they are in the same network. If you are using a virtualizer like VirtualBox, make sure your systems are in bridged mode. On your Kali system type hostname I, this is your network IP address. Now, on the Windows machine, go to the search and launch your command prompt. Type IP config. This will be your PC's IP address. Let's go back to our Kali system. Let's do a fast nmap to make sure we can talk to the PC. Type nmap-f. Make sure you also add no ping. Boom. The PC is alive. Next step. Power up your Apache web server. Let's check the status with sudo systemctl status apache2. It's inactive. Let's wake it up. sudo systemctl start apache2. Now let's make it enabled so it's always up. sudo systemctl enable apache2. Let's check the status one last time. There. Now, let's move to the root of the Apache server. Type slash var slash www slash html. Let's do ls. Let's create a new file so we can test access. Type sudo nanotest.html. Enter anything. Hit control x and y. There it is. Now remember your IP address and let's go back to the PC. Power up your Edge browser and enter the Kali system IP address. Now type test.html. It works. Let's do a few other things. We need to disable the security on the PC temporarily. This is only a proof of concept. For that, search for Windows Security and hit the first item. Click on Manage Settings. Now disable all security. There. Now go back and go into Firewall. Again, let's disable all three firewalls. Domain Firewall, disabled. Private Firewall, disabled. Public Firewall, disabled. We are good to go. Now let's create a flag so we can obtain it remotely with our Kali machine. Search for Notepad and open the app. Type, this is my flag. Now, save it on your documents. There, here it is. Now, we are ready for the action. Head back to the Kali system so we can initiate our connection. Let's make a new directory. Make dear exploit. Now, let's CD into it. There. Now for the next step, we need to go into pseudo mode. And before I do that, if you enjoy this content, hit like and smash the subscribe button. Your support means the world to me. Type pseudo su. Perfect. Remember, this is your IP address. This is very important. Now type the following command. I suggest you use an editor like VS Code or Sublime Text, just in case you make mistakes. Now go to L host and add your machine's IP address. Also, add a port, let's say 5000. If the port is not accessible, just choose another one, like 5001. Let's name the file hellokitty.exe. A very quick explanation on this. MSF Venom is the tool. We are telling it to use a reverse shell for a Windows 64-bit operating system. The L host is your IP address, and L port is the port you choose to go with. A is for architecture, and F is file type. Lastly, O is for the name of the file. Now hit enter, boom. The file is there. Now type this command for the listener. Again, it makes sense to put it on an editor. If you have problems, don't worry. A link to the walkthrough is in the description. The L host is set to zeros. This is our local host. Now let's change the L port to the one we set up in the exploit, 5000. In this command, we are calling the Metasploit framework. We are telling it to do a multi-handler with Q and X. We are also specifying the type of reverse shell we want and the system architecture. Lastly, we see the L host, L port, and give the exploit order to start the listener. You can do all this via MSF console, but as you can see, you don't need to. 
hit enter. Boom. Now we are listening for incoming connections. Now head back to the Windows machine one last time. Power up your Edge browser again. There. Now go to your Kali system's IP address slash exploit. There's our Hello Kitty file. Click on Show More and Keep Anyway. Now open the file. You will see this ugly Windows warning, but don't worry. Run anyway. Boom. Nothing opens. Head back to your Kali system. Houston, we have a session. This, my friends, is a reverse shell. Let's do system info. We are inside the computer. Now do get UID. This is the user and permissions level. Now do PWD. We are in downloads. Let's go to documents. Type CD dot dot slash documents and PWD again. Now do an LS. There. There is our top secret flag. Now do cat flag dot TXT. Look, we got the contents. If you want to download it, just type download flag.txt. We can also get into the computer by typing shell. Now you can snoop around. For today, just hit control C and exit. Type exit and enter. Exit dash Y. Now we are back in our Kali system. If I do LS, I'll see the downloaded flag. If I cat it, I'll see the contents. Mission accomplished. But don't go yet. Let me walk you through how reverse shells work. This is very important for learning the basics of ethical hacking. Metasploit is a favorite framework among cybersecurity professionals for penetration testing. MSF Venom is used for generating custom payloads that exploit vulnerabilities on target systems. Metriperture, on the other hand, is designed to help you move around when you have control of the system. So first, you generate the payload. In our case, hellokitty.exe. Then we have control with Metasploit. This is how a reverse shell works. Here, we have the destination. Let's call it PC, and we have a source. Let's call him HK. The source sets up two things, a payload and a listener. In this case, X and L. Then he proceeds to send the payload. This is generally done via phishing email campaigns. He also starts up a listener and waits for any connections. Once the victim clicks on the payload, the hacker gains control of the machine. There are many types of reverse shells. A good place to get reverse shells is revshell.com. Let me go to the website. In here, you can find all types of reverse shells. Let me look for PowerShell. There. Now let's search for a PHP shell. Perfect. The tool also gives you the type of listeners you can also do. There are so many. Just make sure you get the correct IP address for your system. This in cybersecurity is called command and control. Like and subscribe for more. See you next time.